Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Rusty's Lightning McQueen the veteran piston Rusty's Piston Cup Racer number 95 right. so before we get right into the review let me discuss something so Lightning McQueen took on this paint job um, at the begin at the start of Cars three, and and was and while he and when he w he was preparing for a race which is known as the Dynaco Light three hundred and fifty up the Motor Speedway of the South of twenty sixteen, he was startled by Maynard who was inside his trailer. Miller, who didn't want him to be lonely, and Lightning said he needed a little quiet. So Maynard informed the whole pit crews and and everyone else on the racetrack that he needs quiet. And then he, and while he was preparing for a race, he dreamed of a flashback of his of himself and his late mentor, the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet, and. And and he was then rooted, but rooted by not only Mater, but as also his girlfriend Sally. And he is also good friends with Bobby Swift, Brick Yardley, and Cal Weathers, who who they enjoyed pulling pranks on one another, like inflating tires and confetti cupcakes, for example. And, and one time at a race track, which is Georgia Motor Speedway, after and after the Georgia Safety Horn 350, which he had won at the same race track, he was greeted by his sponsors, asking him if they are happy today. And then Dusty replies by by telling them to stop winning because they were running out of bumper cream to sell. And then and then Tex Dynaco. Oh, no, it shows up, up, and Light Lightning asked him how his favorite competitor Cal was doing, and Tex replied, "I that, I that he can say the word, and he boots Cal and replaces Cal with Lightning himself, which didn't surprise Cal one bit, as it, which Cal didn't realize." which Cal doesn't realize that Tex was joking. What do you guys think? Was Tex joking or not? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. So, anyhow, Lightning Cal along with Bobby and Br Brick were heading toward the finish line at the Danico 400 at Copper Canyon Speedway of 2016 in towards the checkered flag until a, a new racing rival named Jackson Storm arrived on the scene by zooming past into first place leaving Lightning and Bobby behind. And thus many sponsors had began dismissing their older gen stock cars in favor of next gen and rookie stock cars. And, and after the r race at, at Heartland Motor Speedway, the which is known as the Bumper Safe Gears and Glory 450, many paparazzis have been angrily asking Rusty and Dusty questions if Lightning was going to keep racing or retire, and Lightning fended them off by saying that that they'll get Storm next week, and then he heard that Cal was retiring, and then which shocks him, and he he then asks Cal why he, he was retiring, and then and Cal answered by saying he he asked his uncle Strip the King Weathers once when's it gonna re when's it time to stop? And then the king responded by saying the youngsters will take it, and then. And then Cal departed the racetrack after his final words saying 
We had some good times together, and I'm going to miss that the most. And at the Los, and at the Los Angeles International <laughs> Speedway before the LA 500 of 2016, he saw that Brick Yardley was being fired by his sponsor in favor of a next gen named Chase Racelot, and then he decided to ask Bobby Swift what was going on with Brick, unbe but unbeknown to him, Bobby too was replaced by his sponsor in favor of a next gen racer named Danny Suarez. And during the race, he tried he tried he tried desperately to keep up with Storm, but ended up having a blowout in one of in one of his rear tires, causing him to crash like his mentor, the fabulous Doc Hudson, did back in 1954. And that is it. That and that's all the dis the details, the description. So let's get right into the review. Here we've got his friendly facial expression and his working headlights and his bright red paint job and a modern Rusty's logo with a on a orange lightning bolt on his hood and his lightning bolt stickers and his and on the left side we've got a few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Octane Gain, RPM, Revolting, and Clutch Aid and a modern yellow lightning bolt with no flames with the the yellow number 95 and a, mod a, a modern Rusty's logo and a gas cap and a yellow circle borderline circles on each of his red rim black wall light year racing tires and and on the top we've got another number 95 in his name signature and on the spoiler we've got another modern Rusty's logo and on the back we've got a number 95 on one of his working tail lights and a Rusty's logo in between no rookies no slogan and on the right side same design but completely different so now let's compare them to the other Lightning McQueen's here we've got the regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen which these body molds are completely different and and here's some comparisons this one has the 95 on his headlights while this one doesn't have any on his headlights and both of them have a ducktail spoil both of them have a ducktail spoiler and and both have lightning bolt stickers and and here's the thing the rusty's logo has evolved this one's the older version while this one has the new version on his hood and here are some differences this lightning bolt is a retro design while this one lightning bolt is a modern design but the 95 re remains the same this one has several contingency sponsors while this one has a few this one has yellow rim, yellow circle circles on the rims while this one doesn't have any both have a name signature on top and, and both of them have a 95 on their taillights this McQueen has the rookie stripe well has the slogan medicated bump boyman while this one doesn't have no slogan so this one indicates that this shows indicates that this McQueen is no longer a rookie so he's a veteran and now for the car the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup Lightning McQueen from Cars 2 so both body molds are are different and and here's some differences this one has a 95 with a lightning bolt threaded through while this one has the original 90 design this one has the 
the old Rusty's logo is shaded, while this one has the new Rusty's logo. And both have lightning bolt stickers. This one has 95 on his headlights, while this one doesn't have any. And here are some differences. The Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen has the, the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo, while this one has a 2016 version of the the original Piston Cup logo, which was renamed. And this this McQueen's lightning bolt is a retro design, but in with dark red and orange. And while this one has a modern logo in yellow and orange, this one has a few sponsors, and so does this one. And yeah. And you might want to guess, what do they have in common? Yep, you guessed it. It's the yellow circles on their red rims of their Blackwall Lightyear racing tires. And here's another difference. This one has the slogan, Medicated Bump Ointment. Well, this one doesn't. And this one has a 95 on its taillights. Well, this one has a 95 on one of its taillights. And now for the Lightning McQueen with racing wheels, or should I refer to as WGP Lightning McQueen and or Cars 2 McQueen. So both of them have working headlights. This one has the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo on the hood, while this McQueen has Rusty's logo on his hood. This one has lightning bolt stickers, while this one doesn't. This McQueen's lightning bolt is mixed with flames, while this one has no flames. And both 95 design still stays the same. This one has Piston Cup logos, well this one doesn't, just World Grand Prix logos. This McQueen's rims has our chrome silver gray, while this one is red with yellow circles, while this one has red circles on the rims. Here's another difference. This, McQ this, spo this McQueen spoiler is a flat spoiler, well, this McQueen has a ducktail spoiler. This one says Will Grand. This McQueen has Will Grand Prix on his spoiler. While well, this McQueen has Rusty's on his spoiler. And here's this McQueen has a 95 on one of his taillights and Rusty's. While well, this one has no 95 on one of its taillights and no Rusty's and, ha and just Will Grand Prix on the back side and the bumper. And now for do, 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 the Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. So Lightning gotten out of this paint job and updated back into his this paint job, but with the old spoiler and the lightning bolt mixed with flames from the World Grand Prix in February of 2017. So so therefore this diecast shares the same body mold as the as the Cars 3 McQueen. So this one has no 95 underneath its headlights, while this one has the 95 underneath the headlights. So so therefore the rust this one has the old Rusty's logo, while this one has the modern Rusty's logo. And therefore, he lightning changed from this paint job to this paint job. And both have lightning bolt stickers. Both have working headlights. And here's another difference. This one's this McQueen's lightning bolt has no flames, while this one has flames with the black border lining. 
but the 95 design stays the same and so does the contingency sponsors. And here's another difference. This one has 95 on its taillights, one of its taillights, while this one doesn't have a 95 on one of its taillights. This one has medicated bomb boy 95 on its bumper, while this one has doesn't have medicated bump ointment on its back bumper. And that is pretty much it. Let me pull up some of the other McQueens. And now for the the main cars, the main stock, the rest of the main cars, three stock cars, such as Brick Yardley, Cal Weathers, and Bobby Swift. And that is pretty much it. So, what do you guys think? Which version of Lightning McQueen and his bright red paint job is your favorite? And which of the main Cars 3 stock car foursome is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And also, don't forget to leave any suggestions about which car of the past if from the Cars Collection video in the description should I review next. And I hope to see you all guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!